Yo, yo, YouTube, what's crackin' like a jack smack and it's Waffle Man with a video! And, uh, the Knicks hired, or supposedly, they're looking to go in the direction of Jeff Hornacek. If you didn't know who Jeff Hornacek is, he used to be a former player in the NBA, great three-point shooter, and he was coaching the Phoenix Suns for the last past three seasons. Uh, he got fired this year. When he went 14 and 25 to start the season, and then they brought in Earl Watson. But nine days after that, Derek Fisher on the Knicks got fired because of his poor performance during the months of January and parts of February. Uh, but actually, I think Derek Fisher got fired in January. But, anyways, Phil Jackson, which we believe is the most paid president or executive, whatever you want to call him, in the NBA, making more than anybody. About $12 million a year, getting paid the big, bu big bucks, you know. Uh, hire this guy, man, and I don't know, man. I mean, it's kind of like I'm, I don't hate the decision, but I don't love it, man. I don't see how I can love the decision, man. I'm not saying Hornacek uh, is a bad coach, which he's not. He was runner-up to Greg Popovich for Coach of the Year back in 2012-13, I believe, or 2013-14. And, you know, that Phoenix Suns team, the first year, they won 48 games in a stacked Western Conference, man. 48 games. They missed the playoffs. But, I mean, if you're going to make, if you're going to win 48 games and win the playoffs and miss the playoffs, like, that's a tough, tough conference, man. I mean, you basically have 50 wins and you can't make the playoffs. That's how stacked the West was back then, back two, three years ago. Now the West is kind of lighting up a bit and the East and the West are kind of more even out. Uh, but back then, the Western Conference used to be the dominant conference. And that was tough to coach. And he that was his first season as a coach. And he did good, man. And his team wasn't even like all that. If looking at the roster wise, I mean, yeah, you had Shannon Fry. Yeah, you had uh, what you had going Dragic. You had Eric Bledsoe. And Eric Bledsoe is still on the Phoenix Suns. But the, the, the Suns for the past two, three years, they've always been a guard-heavy team. The New York Knicks don't have any guards. Who, who do we have at guard? Jose Calderon? Really? Still? They better get Jose Calderon off the team. Who do we have at shooting guard? Maybe Aaron Aflalo. We don't know if he's coming back. And I, I don't even know if I like Aaron Aflalo anymore after what he's been this season in the second half of us. And it's like, you know, the front court is more loaded than the back court. And I know Hornacek, you know, he loves his threes. Fast-paced offense, a lot of shooting threes. So maybe Porzingis is going to be that. Shannon Fry is going to be taking more three-point attempts, which is cool. Porzingis can knock it down. But, you know, it's all about, first thing, developing Porzingis. And seeing what we can do to help Carmelo Anthony. And that's why I'm not sure if I hate, I don't hate the decision. Because Hornacek is better than Kurt Rambis. Oh, God. If we had to hire Kurt Rambis, I mean, Kurt Rambis' win percentage as a coach is just atrocious, man. You remember him from the Timberwolves? No. No. No thank you, man. I mean, there's plenty of options out there. If Phil would have hired Kurt Rambis, I would have just killed myself. Literally. Like, you can't hire Kurt Rambis and have all these options. You got Frank Vogel out there. You got Mark Jackson, Jeff Van Gundy, Tom Thibodeau. And this is where I'm getting to my point. You have all these coaches. Jeff Hornacek doesn't doesn't run any triangle offense. Jeff Hornacek is not going to come in here and run a triangle because it doesn't make any sense. If he were to win the triangle, that means he's slaving to Phil Jackson. And it, there's just no way he can win a triangle. He can't implement what you, you can't implement what you don't know. So hiring Jeff Hornacek means that there was never going to be a triangle in place. That means the triangle doesn't matter. So if the triangle doesn't matter, why aren't we, you know, Hiring people like Frank Vogel, even David Blatt, you know, Tom Thibodeau. Tom Thibodeau was sitting there. He had some elements of the triangle in his offense when he coached the Bulls, but you didn't hire him. You didn't even interview him. Why? Why? Like, what are we doing? Jeff Van Gundy's out there, Mark Jackson, a former Nick. If the triangle doesn't matter, what are we sitting on our laurels for waiting for? And you sign this guy, Jeff Hornacek who's had a great first season as a coach, but ever since then, his record's been going down. In the last season, he got 14 and 25. Now, albeit the Phoenix Suns franchise 
it's kind of man now it's kind of it's kind of been on the decline but still man can we get any better man i mean I, I don't know what to think about this i'm not hating it i'm not loving it leave your thoughts in the comment section man because it's definitely going to be interesting to see what happens especially for the future of the knicks even come this summer in free agency will people want to come and play for jeff honest sake who knows but anyway you see my rep a lot of people want to see my rep that's my rep right now uh but anyways i'm out for now peace